Here's a quick overview of a Liger with MIDI, rolling MIDI on this one. Um, basically you've got a 13 pin cable plugged into the Roland GR20, which is what we're using for testing. And we also have the oval cable connected, main out, which is actually disconnected because the guitar signal is being passed through the 13 pin cable. I just plugged it in, but it's actually not connected to anything on the other end. This is connected to a uh, Godfrey Daniels hubbub cable. And we'll be able to show that the hub, the oval is working as well as the MIDI. On the back, there's a little extra route here for the uh, Roland hardware. And that's your just general electronics panel, nine volt for the preamp built in. The Roland MIDI get, gets its power from the, the GR20. So when you plug in the uh, 13 pin cable to the GR20, you end up with power to the to the Roland MIDI. And the 13 pin cable is over here, off photo or off camera, but it's plugged in here. Um, this is an output to the amp and that's power. Um, there's a couple other plugs on the back. You can look up the GR20. You basically have MIDI out, MIDI in. You can do stereo out. You can do a mix input. Then you have like a level for adjusting the level to the amp. But anyways, the way this works is when you get the rolling MIDI kit and it's all hooked up, you get an LED light, <clears throat> which lets you know that it's plugged in. These are patch up and patch down. This one's patch uh, up, that's patch down. And then this is a three-way mini toggle, which is basically when it's down, we have MIDI signal only. And when it's in the middle, we have magnetic pickups plus MIDI signal. And when it's up, we have just the magnetic pickups. So um, first we're going to just test with the magnetic pickups. this in the middle and if we look at the GR20 we're actually on string orchestra and we're on the first uh, patch of that bank so I'm not sure if you can hear the strings in the background mixed in with the magnetic signal and I can lower the volume on the magnetic signal and the strings come out a little bit louder I could also lower the volume on the uh, on the MIDI signal. This is actually MIDI volume, this extra knob here. So So there's with the MIDI volume all the way down. And now we just have magnetic pickups. So I'm going to raise the MIDI volume. All these knobs are full. I'm gonna push this down to the bottom so we just hear the MIDI. So you'll notice when I push this button right here, this goes up to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <clears throat> I have no idea what sound it's gonna be because I don't have the manual in front of me for the GR20, but let's listen. Sounds similar. A little different. Let's go up to maybe 20. That was different. Let's go up to 30. So we're getting some different sounds there. Um, and if you notice that, but when we got to 34 on string orchestra, it jumped to one, and now we're in the synth lead bank. 
So it basically goes all the way up in the patches on this bank, and then once it reaches the end of the patches there, it'll go to the synth lead bank. And if I push the uh, down patch on the guitar, it jumps back to the last one on the string orchestra. So it's pretty cool. It allows you to go through all the patches. I mean, sorry, all the patches and all the banks. And you can just also very easily turn this knob here to jump to a bank. So now we're on the first patch of synth lead. <laughs> Let's uh, see what else we got. And that's cool. Here's with both magnetic and that one. So if we lower the magnetic, kind of balance the two out in volume. So you got that. Um, so another thing we can check out is, this is the GK3 pickup kit on the guitar. There's a lot of patches in the synth lead. Let's see. And now we're in the voice pad. So that's kind of cool sounds. I think the MIDI spec says you can have up to 128 patches per bank, but it doesn't mean that every bank's going to have 128 patches. And now we jump to ethnic, so... There's also on, on this particular box, you can adjust the sensitivity of the pickup on the guitar. <clears throat> and then you can kind of uh, make it so that some, some strings are louder than others if you want it like that, or you can turn off a string entirely too. Um, if you want, if you like, you don't want the low strings to be like, you know, making weird, weird notes while you're playing just the top three or something like that. Um, let's see. I'm not too familiar with the GR20, so I'm not going to go into it <clears throat> that much. It's just kind of for testing out the MIDI setup for the guitar. We're in rhythm percussion now. Jump back to a the bass guitar pad. <clears throat> I can't really hear that. Let's So that was just uh, a little of memory. Anyways, there's the Roland GR20 <clears throat> with the Roland GK3 pickup. MIDI kit installed. Oh, the oval. Let's check out the oval. So there's the oval toggle down here. Right now, the only effect I have plugged in is a vibrato pedal, just for, again, for testing purposes. It makes a very strong vibrato. So I know the oboe's working during testing. And then we'll add MIDI into that as well. So now we have... I don't know if you can hear the bass. 
place. And then there's just the bass. So you got plenty of tones here to play with when you've got the MIDI setup.